this is Heather. Uh, once again, you are seeing me making a little craft for you. This is the second step in our little woodland scene. Uh, today we're going to be making the spun cotton mushrooms to go with the spun cotton moss and grass we made last week. Uh, the only things you need to really make a nice mushroom are wire. This is florist wire. You can get it at Walmart. Or a pipe cleaner. I'm going to show you how to use that to do it too. Uh, the wire one is going to have a loop at the top. In our scene, we're going to use the loop to hold um, something like a little candle maybe or um, a flagon. Something. We're gonna we're gonna figure out something for it to hold, uh, or you can just have it be a plain mushroom without a loop on top, and glue, and our diluted glue from last time, and our spun cotton, cotton balls. So. Take your cotton ball apart, as we did before, roll it out into one piece, double up your wire, and twist it together well, as a thicker wire, and double it again. This is uh, controlling the height of the mushroom you're going to make. And twist it together, but leave a loop at the top. These make very cute ornaments, too. And I like to push my wire ends up so that they won't be poking out. Glue gets poured into the cap again. And we inundate our cotton. And this time, wrap the cotton around the wire to make the mushroom stalk. All the way up to the loop. And then I like to stop there and then build my mushroom instead of keeping it all in one piece I like to add the piece back on where I want the mushroom to start being built up and I didn't inundate this one because I want it to be I mean, now that I'm building up the cap of the mushroom, I didn't inundate all of it. Uh, it's going to soak up a lot in the middle. And I'm going to do just the outside right now. Because I want it to remain a little bit soft. And moldable. And I'm making this mushroom a kind of a cone-shaped mushroom. There are lots of mushroom shapes, but this one's going to be cone-shaped. Just like that. Let me put a little bit more 
cotton on the bottom. Any place that you see that needs a mend, you can use dry cotton and wrap it up. Of course, that does make a little bit thicker stock. But in nature, their stalks come in many different thicknesses. And that's pretty cute. We're going to call him done. Now, this one is made just the same. I'm going to make it a little bit short. Twist it up here. A short, fat mushroom. And I think that when you're working with cotton, like this, spun cotton, it's a little bit easier to use on the pipe cleaners because it catches all those fibers. So I'm going to inundate my cotton again. Cover my pipe cleaners. Thoroughly. And this one I'm going to make into a rounder topped, wider mushroom. Just the same, but you concentrate on building it out to the sides rather than up and down. I'm going to start this one with inundated cotton and end it with dry cotton. See, we're building it more like a lollipop this time. And now I'm going to mold it into a round top just like that they are equally as cute I think they're just two different kinds of mushroom is all and then together they look a lot like how mushrooms grow. Now they have to dry before you can color them. And I wanted to show you about coloring them. So I have one that I made ahead. The 
one with the loop. It's really an awful lot like this one we made today. And this time I'm coloring it with a watercolor crayon. It's just a different way to have watercolors. It's, you can color it with the watercolors like we did last time. You can paint it with acrylic paint. You can paint it with um, paint from the store, tempera paint. You can just dip it in food color. It's a forgiving project. All right. And I leave white to show through because I think that that's pretty. This is kind of a pearlescent one. But sometimes I use my fingers and I Shade it around a little bit. Blend, blend, blend. So it gets into more of the cracks. And you can also uh, color underneath where the gills are. I'm going to leave it. And show you one I did before. This one has uh, some snow glitter on it. It doesn't glitter, it's just white pellets. Uh, if you wanted to do a snow themed one, this would be good for it. And they're going to be the backing for our little forest seat. And today we're going to use tacky glue to put them down. I would really consider hot glue for this. I'm going to make a big blob of glue. Where I want them to go. And I'm going to hold them there until they are dry. Or, more probably, I'm going to prop them up until they are dry. Just like that. All right, tune in next week. We're gonna do a little character for right here. <laughs>